Uh, LSD is uh, far worse even than uh, heroin, I think, because of its action on certain people again. It was a beautiful day, one of those rare days in Britain, and we happened to be in Lyme Regis of all places, which, if anybody knows, is full of ammonites and ancient fossils. And they became a life which hadn't been for millions of years. And you could look at any perspective of anything. You could look close up or you could look wide, angled, and, and sure enough, you would see something different that you hadn't seen before. A new green, a new blue, a new sunlight, a new shape. It was all there and all possible. But then things went wrong. A normally manageable event assumed terrifying proportions under the influence of the drug. We went back to our campsite and uh, we were greeted by this irate woman who, whose farm it was, who we'd somehow camped wrongly in her field and had turned other customers away. And she called me over and she started to shout at me and dress me down. I tried to be apologetic. Perhaps I'd been even silly with her, but she hated me. Her eyes pierced through me. She thought I was a slob. She thought possibly that I was the real worst type of punk, as they were later called, that could ever come down from London and camp in her field. She hated me and it really affected me badly. And I went back to where our camp was and we had tried to cook some bacon on our completely used up calagas. And there, to my horror, were 10 or 12 slices of dead pig. I'd never seen it like this before, but there it was, sliced up, dead, lethargic pig. And I, I was totally horrified and shocked and numbed. And we got in the car and we drove back to London and all the way back I was haunted by green monsters, Celtic monsters, cartoon kind of monsters, not real monsters, who were in my head but out of control and laughing at me.